We're good. I think we're ready for yet another draft. Now, now, got to get the friction on here. Now, last night we talked about this. Thirty-six million dollars in cap space, right? Thirty-six million in cap space. We have the seventh overall pick. Excuse me, the eighth overall pick and the 29th because Cleveland made the final four. The bastards. We could utilize these picks to do some damage. A lot of damage. The problem is if we make these picks or trade up, that's a really large cap hit that someone is going to receive from being a higher up draft pick. And we don't necessarily need anybody... We have a project quarterback. We got a solid enough starter. We got the young running back. We got the three wide outs. We got the young tight end. We, re we signed an entire offensive line. Our defense is insane. The rookie defensive of the year, defender of the year, Ben Tuttle. Like, we don't need anything. So it's the thought of do we just trade down the picks because we don't need anything? And the answer might be yes, because if you think about it, if we don't use these picks and we save the money, then that money can then be used in the future to re-signing players so that we don't have to continually keep the turnover going. We'll actually be able to keep people signed. In terms of people, as I'm trying to fight off this sneeze, in terms of people, I'm going to fail, by the way. Excuse me. In terms of people who have expiring deals at the end of the year, Marco Macklin, Khalid Callahan, they are the two biggest ones. Uh, old Fart Blowers, Devin Fowler, Christian White, but we are going to have to spend some money this upcoming season to keep people around. Otherwise, we find ourselves in the same situation we've been in the last two years. So I was looking at the players to say, OK, is there that guy to take early to trade up and get what's the deal here? Right. And this is kind of the short list of players available. Um, there are a couple of offensive linemen that we could look at. Uh, this guy here, McKnight, we'd have to scout him a little bit more. But if he is as good as advertised, he could be awesome. A couple of tight ends, but obviously we wouldn't take them early. Another offensive lineman. And then you get into the big two. Uh, there is Clayton Hanna as a linebacker. Shout out to Frozen Pizza on five months, by the way. Thank you for that. Welcome in and thank you for supporting my face. Anyway. Will Ingram is kind of that guy. Will Ingram might just be that guy. He does an outside of bad play recognition and injury concerns, because of course, this guy could be insane. He's the one dude that tempts me into maybe being aggressive at the draft. He ran a 4-2-6. Like, his vert jump could be a, a little bit better, but yeah, this is this is that one guy that really tempts me. But like I said, another good player on an already good team or money to keep good players that we already have. I don't know. I don't know. And then, hilariously enough, at quarterback, there are two guys here, but in particular, this dude right here, Kevin Dillinger. Looks like he's going to be damn good. He does. He does. He does. He has some mobility, but then you get into the grades. But the problem is we cannot afford to take another quarterback in the first round because, again, it'll kind of cripple us financially. So it's a really weird spot to be in. Mm. It's a really weird spot to be in. Shout out to Snow Eagle Gamer for the follow. Welcome in. Random question moment they had ECHLW franchise mode. Don't hold your breath. 
hopefully at some point in the near future, but yeah, don't, uh, don't hold your breath. So I don't know what to do. I haven't made a decision. You know, I looked at this last night after we ended the stream. I have not made a choice in regards to what the hell we want to do here. And it kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. Let's look at the two offensive linemen and the linebacker because we already know that Will Ingram is good. But I, I'm i really leaning towards not making too many draft picks this year. There's no denying that corner would be insane. But to have high-salaried players on our team already and then to bring in another first-round pick, that's really, really tough. And I think we could just look for late-round steals to try and... Kind of bring it together, you know? Oh, goodness. The Denver Broncos have the first overall pick. Let's talk to them really quickly because trading up would be incredibly dangerous. The Denver Broncos. <laughs> Uh, they're funny they are funny they are uh, very very funny aren't they Jesus yeah it's just no shot there's no shot of getting that first overall pick so we'll kind of go pick by pick to see if it's worth jumping up until we get to that 8th pick Denver at number 1 is going to take that corner Oh, yeah. It was a guarantee he was going first overall. An absolute guarantee. Mr. Webster, good to see you. John always still running the Broncos, apparently. Apparently. I don't blame him for saying piss off. We're taking this corner. I don't blame him. Uh, so let's go ahead and go pick by pick here, and we'll see if there's someone. Clayton Hanna, the linebacker, goes next. We'll see if there's someone still on the board at eight that's interesting to us. Another linebacker to the Raiders. The Patriots take a defensive end. Green Bay at five. Another linebacker. It is a very strong year for linebackers. Atlanta takes a defensive end. And the Chargers take another linebacker. That friggin' quarterback is still on the board. What do we need a safety? We don't need anything, technically. We don't need a damn thing. Again, linebacker, there are players to look at here. Is there anybody that makes it worth the frickin' financial hit that we would have to take? And I really don't think there is. The only guy who is worth that financial hit, and I know this guy is listed as a first or second round talent. His catching is a C. So... That's a that's a no thank you from me. But yeah. The only guy who who would be worth this pick is Kevin Dillinger. And like I said, I cannot take another quarterback this early. I can't do it. So we have to trade away this pick. We just have to. Maybe we keep the 29th. Maybe there's another one. First, a third, a fifth, and a seventh. That would get us the 20th overall pick. Ravens, ooh, last pick of the round, and then their first rounder in 2036. It's a lot of picks in the future. Jacksonville with the 23rd. Like I said, right now, I'm just looking at first rounders. So we could trade down to the 20th. Warrior, thank you for the raid. But if we're only going to trade down to the 20th, then what the hell is the point? We might as well just trade down to the 32nd and then get the Ravens first rounder in 2036, you know? That, uh, we have traded Kyler Murray, yes. We, we moved on from him a while ago. Or Jacksonville get the 23rd pick and the first rounder next year. A Jacksonville offer. 
is pretty nice. It's a fourth, fifth, and a seventh. Or we excuse the fourth and a fifth to select nine picks earlier. I think we got to go with Jacksonville. You know, somebody, somebody good should still be available at 23. And we get an extra first round pick two years from now. Which, again, could just be great trade value for us if need be. I don't hate that. Because the uh, Baltimore pick is also two years away. I think we go... I think we go with that Jacksonville one. Like I said, there are players available, but it's just it's not worth that price hit for us right now. It isn't. Especially having to re-sign Marco Macklin. I mean, our offense is built around the guy, for God's sake, so... Uh, let's do it. Let's take that deal from the Jags. And if by some miracle that quarterback's available around 23, we take him. So, Jacksonville at 8 selects Jordan Landry, another linebacker. Like I said, there are some damn good linebackers in this draft. Where are we going to play him? Where? You know, you could say trade Devin Fowler a season early. And then have the younger guy replace him. But at the same time, this guy won a Super Bowl MVP, man. Yeah, it's a weird spot. It's a weird spot. Minnesota at nine. Take that wide out, Zach Phillips. I'm okay with that. Like I said, first to second round talent, but he had a fucking C in catching. Seattle at 10. Defensive end, Thomas Ford. Chicago. The running back, Kawhi Dickens. Oof, taking a running back, 11th overall. San Fran, defensive end, Eddie Hayes. And the Rams, corner Dakota Long. That, both quarterbacks are still on the board here. Interesting. The Colts at 14. I had to say something. The Colts get the guy that I was interested in. 14th overall. The Anthony Richardson era is over here in 2034. I think they just got a, a home run pick. I do. So let's go ahead. Sim to that 23rd pick. It is every time. Literally any time I say something, it happens. Every single time. So who's still available here for first round projections? There are three guys. DeMarco Greer. I don't like that he can't play man coverage and can't tackle. An offensive lineman and Stefan Richardson, who looks like a pretty big risk. His strength and his agility suck. He's not the guy. And then there's Felix Price, who can't play zone as a linebacker, which isn't totally ideal. He is a monster of a power rusher, though. But he's not even that strong. Okay. Jake, what's going on? Good to see you. How are you? All right. That first to second round projection. Joey Bowden. Are you worth taking 23rd overall? No, you are not. Nope. The other Jake. We stand Jake's around here. All right. Nick Linder. This guy's a toss-up. Let me look at him. It's past my bedtime. Fair. Still stops in to say hi, though. What a guy. Um, mm, mm. Even that guy's a risk that I don't know. If we want to take, drove a semi today, didn't die. <laughs> Congrats. Um, God, it's freaking tight ends are here. There's still a lot of dudes that we could take. I think, again, we look to trade down. Again, this, I don't know how this wideout is a first round talent. A 5'8 deep threat. He's not even, like, he's fast, but he's not insane. And he has a C in catching. Wideouts generate so awkwardly this year. I think, again, we're going to trade down. It just makes sense at this point. There's a bunch of people we could take, but there's nobody that we absolutely have to take. There's no crazy steal at this point. Let's just Belichick another draft. It's what we do best. A second, a third, a fifth, and a seventh. Tampa's first next year. Whew. All right. Um, goodness. Tampa's... First four picks next year and a seventh. They want in. 
Do I see two first round picks from anybody? Two firsts. Show me two firsts. Show me two firsts. All right, Tampa, we will gladly take your uh, entire draft class next year. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. No problem there. And again, we still have the 29th pick. Let's see who else is still left here. Our next pick after this isn't until the fort or the freaking 14th pick of the fifth round. Uh, wrestling game. I just I don't I don't pay attention to it honestly. Like behind like uh, there was a time where I was really like yes backstage wrestling drama. Now I'm like man I just I flip on the TV I watch what I like to watch and then I just leave it at that. So okay. Bowden is still there. The tight ends are still there. Now would be the time. Just to see if there's anybody where we're like, yes, this guy. This guy can be a TV in 2023. I do have a TV in my living room for sports. For sports I like to watch me some foosball, mainly so I don't have to sit in this fucking chair all day. You think when it comes to the AI, the trading's harder about the same. They made it more difficult, but it, I also have the difficulty setting up. So, uh, there's, you know, it's a combination. All right, we already kind of have to take a brief look just to see if there's anybody. Do we even really care about trying to steal anybody in this draft? Like, yeah, there are some good players. But there's good players every year, and we literally do not have a need on this team right now. I, I got to save money. I got to save money. That's that's where we're at. There isn't the one guy to be like, yep, take him. It'll make the team better immediately. At least not that we couldn't have gotten outside the, the first uh, the first pick there. First and a second from the Bills. Anybody else offering something similar? San Francisco loves giving us their draft picks. Uh, we will take the first next year and the second from Kansas City. Let's do it. Let's do it. Thank you very much, KC. And honestly, again, there are good players we can get. I don't even care. Let's sim to the fifth freaking round and see who's left. Like I said, there will be steals the second, the third, the fourth round, of course. We don't need it. We have the roster already to win Super Bowl 69 this upcoming February, and damn it, we're going to do it. That said, we can now see if there's anybody who is uh, somehow worth a pick at this stage. And, uh, ooh, Ricky Carmichael. The Wasn't that a dirt bike racer? He had dirt bike. He, uh, yeah, he was. He had a video game on the N64, didn't he? I played it all the time. There we go. You love to see it. Um, so yeah, we could look to take Carmichael if if he has a good combine. He's fast. He is fast. His strength's kind of mid. He could be worth it. He could be worth it. Anybody else kind of in that category of, ah, maybe they're worth it. I love those freaking catch ratings of F for wide receivers. That guy can't play man coverage as a corner, which isn't great. That guy can't run block. That guy can't play man. That guy can't throw. <laughs> A.J. Chamberlain. I'll mark him down as somebody to uh, to look at. Brian Birch. There is not much here, is there? Hello, tight end Casey Boyd. David, what? Here comes a pizza. See it? Brendan Harvin. Oh, Shout out to Max geez. for the twenty-six really months, of Max. Guy. Welcome He's back. How's your face? I hope it's treating you well. <laughs> Holy linebackers. There's always linebackers. Right tackle Bell. He can't run block. He can't pass block either. <laughs> he might have two A's, but those other uh, 
crucial stats were pretty, pretty low. Uh, let's look at Dakota Sands as well. Um, we can look at Gabe Ewing, too, as a running back. Okay. All right. He's a lineman that can't block. Isn't it the best? Uh, so Ewing. Mr. Ewing. Gabriel. Are you a half decent depth running back? Yeah, you got you got some agility. You also can't juke or spin. Yeah, no, he's he's not him. Uh, there was the tight end Boyd, Casey Boyd. How good are you? Twenty-two out of Michigan. He's got the mobility. He's got the jump. A awareness can block. All right, Casey, I like it. I think you're going to survive. Uh, linebacker. When's our next pick after this? 25th? Okay. Uh, there was Dakota Sands. We want to look at Dakota Sands here out of Bama. You are too damn slow. He is strong. You are too damn slow. And then there's two linebackers that I kind of liked. A.J. Chamberlain. Out of Rhode Island, home of the Badgers. He, um... Oh, he's not very good. Uh, and then Brendan Harvin was the other one. 23 out of Indiana State, home of the Bad Badgers. Um, is also not very good. Cool! Well, there's two players I like then. Uh, and we will go for the one the only, Ricky Carmichael. Vrooming his way into your hearts. Nope. He's a good depth option, though, I suppose. We'll probably go straight to uh, straight to our practice squad. We'll be trading down a lot from here. Uh, let's see that tight end if he is still there. Mr. Boyd. Hatalling? Hatalling. What a name. Tight end. Casey Boyd, out of Michigan. Home of the... Wolverines. Also, okay, well, we're 0 for 2. My pro or against weed. I... What a question. <laughs> it's just the way that you phrased it. Do you or do you not endorse the devil's lettuce? Like, <laughs> I don't give a fuck, man. Smoke whatever the hell you want. I don't give a shit. That's my answer. I don't give a fuck. Stop deflecting. <laughs> Let's get rid of all these fucking draft picks, please. Third round pick from the Bengals. A third and a fifth from the Bills. Third and a fifth from the Chiefs. From the Cowboys. Anybody want to offer anything better than a third and a fifth? Uh, the answer is no. We'll take it from Buffalo, then. Take it from Buffalo, then. Like I said, at this rate, those two picks missed. Let's just get rid of all these damn picks. We don't need them. We don't need the freaking guaranteed cap hits. I am. If that's not swizzle, then I don't know what the hell is. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Uh, a fourth round pick right now. Ooh, fourth and a seventh from the Cowboys. Anything better than that? There's the Jags offer. Fourth and a seventh. Is about the best we can do. We'll take it from Jacksonville. Like I said, I don't need to be giving people guaranteed money. Um, let's just get rid of these damn picks. All right, I guess I got to make two seventh rounders, so we'll look for steals there. It's illegal in Maine, basically. You'll be you'll be happy to know I don't much pay attention to the law on on the on the Juanas, as I do not partake, despite having nothing against it. You see. Anyway, uh, seventh round. Let's just look for two steals because I can't get rid of these damn picks. No wonder why they're right at the end. Shout to Morte, or it could be Mort E. 
50. Let me know. Thank you for the fall. Welcome in. Uh, let's go ahead and make these two picks. Like I said, the draft, good players to take. Our goal was to save money. Uh, there are two wide receivers, who, multiple wide receivers who cannot catch a football. That's good to know. Nothing like wide receivers who can't catch footballs. That is always great. That's what you need. Our receivers that can't catch. How much to get you to come to Toronto for the All-Star game and crash on my couch? Depends. What's the cost of the flight? Uh, we'll take Denzel Donald because I don't fucking know. He's out of Oklahoma. Boomer Sooner. He's terrible. <laughs> He's terrible. And we get the Mr. Irrelevant pick this year. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Mr. Irrelevant. Chris Wayne. Jamal Craig. Mr. Irrelevant Jamal Craig has a good ring to it. It does. Congratulations to Jamal. Our new Mr. Irrelevant. I went right past. I don't know where where is he? Jamal. Did you did you even exist? There you are. Jamal Craig. Beautiful. Come on down. Boomer sooner. Another another sooner. As we have to make the picks because nobody freaking wanted them. Um, yeah, that was another pretty boring draft for us. But again, we have money. We have lots of money. And that's what we need right now is money. We already have the good players. Now we have the money. All of these guys are mid as hell. Uh, but we will take a look at how people did in the draft. No surprise that corner is that good. Not at all. Not one bit. He looked that good. Man, I, I just couldn't afford the money to trade up. I couldn't. Couldn't do it. Well, you saw what the hell they were asking for. Uh, Clayton Hanna was good. No surprise there. Yeah, I mean, really strong players. The running back, Kawhi Dickens, is an 81. Uh, the quarterback, Dillinger, only a 74. <laughs> the poor Colts. Oh, the poor Colts. He looked like a guarantee. Thank God we didn't trade up to take that guy. Thank God. That would have been a disaster. Both quarterbacks weren't that good. Yeah, no surprise Ingram was that great. Uh, second round, couple of good players, of course, in terms of rating. No, like, Uber steals. Shout out to Mac Mickle. What a name. Yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty solid draft. But obviously, again, we did not do much. We did not do much in it. Because we did not need to. Why would we? When we already have an absolutely stacked team. We are off to the preseason. And it could be a very special year. Could it be Super Bowl number two? And the most important one... Super Bowl 69. Um, we are going to have to go through, set up the team, get proper depth. We again have to decide who the hell our starting quarterback is unless Logan Gibbs dropped down to normal, which he did not. So Logan's probably the guy to start the season to see if we can get him to break out. Fanboy. We still got some weird choices here. <laughs> Shout out to the ace of the Taliban. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Taking over. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Hand chosen. <laughs> oh, God. He survived a suicide bombing, and that's how you just knew, like, that's our guy. <laughs> 